Much has changed in the world. You know, between the time, as you know that uh, these talks started eight years ago, I remember in 2004, when we did the framework agreement, and that Bob Zelik was heading the United States, and I told Bob Zelik, but he's straight. I told him what won't fly. I said, for you, you got it all wrong. What you need to do is to have healthy economies in developing countries. Because those are going to give you the market. Those days where you think you can take advantage of weak economies are over. And uh, the vested interest of the developed world must be in having healthy economies, like in Bangladesh. I fought Bangladesh's issue on textiles. I provided within SAC special dispensation to Bangladesh as for an LDC. Because as a neighbor, I thought it's very important for us to do it. I remember in Hong Kong when the issue came up uh, of LDCs, uh, I took up the issue of the special dispensation uh, on the issue of LDCs, which the United States still is not on them. You know, they've carved out, they've taken a, uh, a carve out of 2%, which takes 3% or something, which takes, removes uh, almost 80% of Bangladesh's exports. Uh, that was what I was objecting to concentrations in carve-outs. But they concentrate carve out something and whatever they see as a threat, they put everything in that 3% of trade. And that was a position which we had espoused. India will continue to espouse that, especially for the LDCs, for countries for, for countries like Bangladesh and for the African countries. Because I believe that for the world economy, today the, uh, you have the engine economies which are China, India, which are going. You had to add on more engines. Those days, there were two or three economies which were the engines of the global economy are over. You're going to have many more engines. Of course, those will remain engines. The United States will always remain a big engine of uh, driving the global economy. But to that, you're going to have, that engine is losing its steam, it's still an engine. You're going to have new engines driving the global economy. And in this, you need to be putting on the table those economies which have the potential. Today, Bangladesh is the largest exporter to Walmart. It's, it's overtaken India, be overtaken China. Uh, and that's happened by, uh, not merely by fair trade. Uh, it's happened, I'd say, more without them realizing it. Now, uh, there's a realization of Bangladesh's export potential. And uh, I think uh, Bangladesh will have to very strongly strive for it to be able to continue with the, the growth you had in your exports. So uh, there, is no, there is no change in the Congress party's policy in this, or in the government's policy as of the moment. But the world has changed. The United States uh, have their own issues to address. I do not know whether the United States is even sitting on the table uh, anymore on these talks. Uh, I do not know whether they want to even accept what has already been agreed. So they themselves are making, I think the new administration is themselves making assessments to see how to move forward on this.